welcome back to day three. Let's get into it. So the first thing I did is apply concealer all over my face and we're gonna brush our brows and put some glue stick on it. This is just to lay down all the hair because uh, the Joker doesn't have any brows. So you really wanna apply like a really thin layer of that glue and really almost like laminate it, but it's to really to create a flat surface. Then we're gonna go in just to prime our eyes. I'm doing concealer, but after that I did apply a stick foundation, which I do recommend doing that instead because it's thicker and it's gonna cover way more and it's not gonna move or like slip. So that's that. And then I decided to apply the same foundation all over my face and on my neck just to create a little bit of a base. And also this foundation is paler than I'm, I am usually. So it's really gonna create the effect of, you know, the Joker, the effect that we want. Um, then I'm really gonna go back and laminate some more because my brows are bushy, bushy, bushy. I don't know that word, but anyway. They're really like intense, so I really want to cover it. It may take a little bit of layers, but when you're done, you're just going to apply a powder. I recommend using a loose powder of the shade of your skin instead of like a white powder, but you can also use a white powder, like HD powder as well, except if you're taking pictures with a flash. Then we're gonna do the eyes. So I'm looking at an image to like as a references to do this, but you really just can do just a regular smoky eye if you want to. Uh, but I'm really just going with the image that I'm seeing. And I'm also adding a little bit of red under the eyes because it really looks tired. So that's that. And then we're gonna blend that out. This is what I like about those makeups. It's that you can really be messy and it's never gonna be like too much or too intense or like the less perfect it is, the more beautiful and trashy it looks, the more prettier it looks. So then I'm blending some more and really, you know, accentuate the eyes because that's, you know, like I said, a really a big part of the character. I'm gonna apply some mascara. This is totally optional. And as you can see, I'm not trying to create volume. I'm just trying to, you know, just put mascara. Then I'm doing a brown liner in my waterline. This is just creating like a more of a reddish effects. Um, and then I'm gonna, you know, do the impossible, which is kind of dye my hair. Um, you can do use a spray like for this, but I just use water activated paint and I mix the yellow with the green. Then I'm doing the lips, which is just a, you know, red lipstick that you have. I'm using the NYX lipstick because the formula is just amazing and the shade really matched. So that's what I decided to use. Don't forget to do the inner corner pointy side because that's just perfect for Halloween. It's just a classic. Then my cat was being, you know, demanding. Um, and then moving on, we're going to start the body. So the first thing I'm going to do is these um little how do you how do you call that i'm gonna say the bow even though it's probably not you know the right word but it's just mainly black and um i'm overlining it with like you know water activated paint then we're gonna move on to the shirt i'm using a white but i'm usually just doing the outline of the shirt for now um this is also going to create this transparency effect um, if you saw the uh, jigsaw makeup tutorial, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, so we're just out overlining the shirt and filling out the blanks. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So you first start with the white. And I'm usually, you know, creating all those little details about like, you know, the shirt, the sleeves, um, the highlight and yeah. And then we're going to move on to the shadow aspect of the look, which is the best part, which is, you know, when the looks start to come 3D. Um, so I'm just, you know, overlining everything that I just did and creating the shadows, which um, you can use an image as a references or just, you know, imagine the light reflecting on a shirt and try to go with that. I usually have two brush in my hand, which is the one that creates the dark aspect and the one that blends it so it looks more like you know, a shadow and it's less harsh, but you can really create the harsh lines where you really need the harsh lines and blend the ones that you don't, if that makes sense. 
So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You do that for the entire shirt pretty much. Um, and then in the neck area, I really want to create the fact that I'm wearing a shirt. So again, I'm doing the line, but instead of doing inwards, which is towards the shirt, I'm doing it outwards towards, you know, my skin to create that depth look and make it look like you're wearing a shirt. Um, and then I'm going back on the water activated paint to create more dimension to the bows. Um, and we're doing the same thing on the other side, which is creating the 3D effect of you wearing a shirt. So like I said, always have two brush. Then I'm going to start, you know, overlining the tattoos. Um, I did going with a teeny brush, but I think it was too pale. So after a few seconds, you'll see me, I'll go in with the NYX liquid liner, which is the best thing ever. Um, I love this liner. We're going to, you're going to see a lot of this liner in this Halloween series. Let me tell you that, but it's just pointy and you can do so much details with that and it's waterproof, like, but it's really removing, like, it's just perfect. Just, you know, trust me on that. It's just the best liner you can ever use, even on your eyes. Like, it's just insane. So after, you know, really concentrating of doing the little details, you will fail and you will remove, you know, those mistakes and try again. So that's what I did. I did a little bit of foundation, you know, remove my head from that aspect and creating, you know, a lot of shadows on the other side. And then I'm going to go back in a few seconds, but I'm just mainly creating, like I said, the shadow of the shirt. Keeping in mind, I'm looking at a picture, so it's really weird. Like now that I'm seeing back, I'm like, those two, two like uh, colors not, are not the same, but in the pictures, it makes sense because, you know, the shirt is moving and he's not, you know, perfectly um, like button up and things like that. And um, by the way, I'm also adding shadows on top of the tattoos to create even more of an effect that I'm wearing a shirt. Um, and always blend. Blending is my cardio, you know, blending is just my cardio. Then I'm going back with some black to create more dimension. But like I said, just like more precise, harsh lines where I really need that. And then we're finally going back to do the tattoos using, you know, liner again and you, you know, just pretty much writing ha ha everywhere. And then in a few seconds, I will switch hands, which I do not recommend doing that, but you know, sometimes you have to. Um, and then it's some, a lot of like going back and forth to, you know, really perfect that. And then I'm going back with some white paint to create some highlight on those little, you know, spots that needs to. And then we're going to create some wrinkles in the shirt. So it's pretty much doing like black lines and blending it in and yeah, going back and forth with that. And um, as you can see, it's really simple and you're going to do that all over the shirt and on those little, you know, area, especially like around the neck, like just to not have like that super precise line, uh, because like I said, it's a shirt and it's not wearing it like he's not wearing it button up. It's really more like messy. So that's kind of like the vibe that we are going for. And after that, we're just going to fill the blanks with some white and also adding some paint on my arms because I could see that it didn't go like as low as I needed to. So we're going to add some white on the arms, on both arms so that, you know, it makes sense and it really looked like a shirt. Then I'm going back with some black on the, you know, eyes around the eyes and adding few details like, you know, dark circles and all that jazz that's just going to really help prevent the look. And I'm also going to dirty up, you know, the face in a few seconds, but you know, you can just, you know, have fun. Then I'm going back to create the G, the G. Yeah. Because I didn't like it. And I saw like, I did a zoom and it's like two lines forming the G, if that makes sense, like more of a, like, you know, double font. Anyway, after adding those touch-ups, that's what I'm going to do. I practice on my hands first and then, you know, adding a few things so that you can procrastinate doing it. And this is the part that I don't know if I'm keeping, but you know, then we're going to draw everything that we need to draw and write everything that we need to write, which is damage. Um, this, this one, you really need to take your times, especially if you want to really like create, 
the version and like the end writing um, that it has, but it doesn't need to be perfect. So you can pretty much write it in your own handwriting and it will, you know, be as cool. Then I'm doing the G, which I don't know how I did it, but it was so perfect. It's insane. I'm gonna try to do a zoom in on that because it was just, it was just perfect. Perfection, so pretty. Then I'm going back with the brows because after four hours doing this makeup, you know, probably needs to. So yeah, then it's pretty much final touches. So you can add, you know, stuff that you like. You can add more tattoos, less tattoos, remove things that you don't like, like I'm doing right now. Um, it's pretty much up to you. And don't forget to add a setting spray so it stays all night. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys love this tutorial. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below on what's your favorite part about these transformation. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't forget I'm doing a 31 day series this month for Halloween. So make sure to stay tuned. And on that note, I will see you guys back tomorrow for another tutorial. Bye guys.